Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to be filming an announcement. So, I am going to be taking part in a readathon in October. And not only am I going to be taking part, I'm actually going to be helping host, which is very exciting because I don't think I've done a readathon in a minute like i've been doing the magical readathon but that's the only one i haven't done any others in a good minute so i'm really really excited to take part in this in october brie from locked booktician hosts black ween every october it's a month-long readathon that highlights black authors who write crime fiction so crime fiction can typically fit genres like mystery um horror suspense murder mystery cozy mystery anything that fits into that umbrella uh can fit this readathon as long as it's written by a black author so this is my first year participating i'm really really excited from what i've seen brie is doing this round a little bit different from her past rounds this round we actually have a map and black ween is going to be taking place is is centered around this town called tulas parish and it has six locations within it the parish that you can join and read the prompts for each section or each place has a group book and yeah you can go from there i'm gonna go ahead and just read you the different places and the different props so i'm reading from my phone because i can't remember all this stuff so sorry in advance but the first place we have is bayou haunted house so the prompts for this are possession story a book with a ghost of someone who resides over the house or a ghost story in general a haunted house set in the south a book with house, mansion, home, estate in the title, medium or spiritual leader, and a free space. So every place has a free space where you can just read a book that fits the, the genre theme, um, and, but it's up to you and your choice. For the group book for Bayou Haunted House is The Good House by Tinana Reeve Du. The Bayou Haunted House is going to be hosted by Brie. And then next we have the St. Tremaine Graveyard, which is going to be hosted by Monet from Life with Monet. And the group book is going to be All the Sinners by S.A. Crosby. So the prompts for that one is going to be a book with Of the Night Vibes, a book where a deal is made, a murder with multiple points of views, a horror thriller book with body parts, a book with ancestral knowledge, and then your free space. So then we have Ruby's Crew, which is going to be hosted by Ashley from Bookish Realm. And the group book for Ruby's Crew is The Dark 30 Southern Tales of the Supernatural by Patricia McKissick. So then, the next one is Noir Apothecary, which is my little area, my area of the town. And this area is all about the cozy vibes. So all the prompts are going to fit cozy mysteries or cozy horror, whatever you can fit in there. The group book is going to be The Plot is Murder by V.M. Burns. And the prompts are going to be Cozy Mystery with a Romance Subplot. A cozy mystery with a food element, a cozy mystery with a pet, a cozy mystery with an amateur sleuth, and a cozy mystery in a small town, and then your free space. So then it comes Laissez-Faire Streetcar. This is going to be hosted by Brandy, and the prompts for that is going to be a book with time jumps, a book with an unreliable narrator, a black classic, a book with traveling a black author outside the u.s and a free space and the group book is going to be the dark place by Brittany s lewis and then the last place on the map is joe's library and it's going to be hosted by erica and the group book is going to be the gilded stories by jewel gomez 
and the prompts are going to be a historical reference, a mystery book set in the 70s, a mystery book set in the thousands, a, mist a book published by a black man, a book with a musical element, and then your free space. So most of these may have some live shows or some live um, discussions with their group books. I know mine will be hosted with Brie and we will announce the date as soon as we figure that out. That's those are all the areas you can join and those are all the prompts you could read from. You can choose to pick multiple places if you would like. It's recommended not to pick all of them because that's a lot and we don't want to overwhelm you. The main idea of this is choose your journey, choose your role. So you pick your place. So once you pick your place, then you decide between the three levels of gameplay you could do. So you can do um, amateur sleuth, which is you will read one to two prompts from your place. You could do a detective, which is uh, three to four prompts, and then you could do investigator Thoreau, which is five to six prompts. So whichever one you choose, that's how many prompts you gotta do. The whole goal is to become a grand searcher of this town, this map. In order to do that, you have to complete the investigator roll in all six places obviously it's not recommended you do it now um but over time as rounds keep coming that's how you gain these roles so once you choose your your level amateur detective or investigator whichever one you choose is good is whatever's best for you you then will roll a six-sided dice and so from there that will choose which prompts you specifically will be reading so if you roll your six-sided dice let's say you get um a two you will read that second prompt in the board so let's say you don't like your rolls you are allowed to roll re-roll once without a penalty but if you re-roll more than once you will have to pick from the penalty deck which i think buri has licked linked in her video in her original video in the in the description section and so from there in that deck are books that you'll specifically have to pull as a punishment for re-rolling more than your one freebie so that's all i have um there will be sprints taking place throughout the month by all the hosts the schedule will be released as soon as we get it out to you guys. I'm not really a mystery reader, but I've always wanted to try and give this genre a chance. So I feel like this is a great, a great opportunity for me to check it out and see how I feel. So I'm really excited. I look forward to participating with the other hosts and the other uh, players. Hopefully I give you all the information. If there's any questions, anything I've left out, please go check out Bree's original video because I believe she laid it out really really clear for everybody if you liked the video please like it down below if you have any comments questions concerns leave me all those in the comments section down below let me know if you plan on taking part or if you're interested i'd love to find out if you have any cozy mystery recommendations please also leave these those down below that are by black authors that would be great and if you want to see more videos from me please hit that subscribe button also please remember to go check out Bree's video because it is amazing and she put so much work and effort into this readathon so I encourage everybody to check out the video and take part. Alright, you are all sunflowers and a world full of weeds.